Charles' torn socks made Harry's vocal cords broke after he vilified his father for giving him little money. Hello friends, welcome to breaking royal news about the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News Version 2 channel. The Duke of Sussex revealed in his autobiography that he often purchased his casual attire from TK Maxx and frequently wore items until they were completely worn out. He admitted that despite being a full-time royal, he didn't give fashion any thought and frequently wore mismatched ensembles and wrinkled shirts. He stated that he conducted most of his shopping at TK Maxx, a bargain retailer in the UK that he was especially fond of, and that he had been made fun of for wearing holy shoes. He wrote about this in his newly released book, Spare. The Duke of Sussex noted that while his father, King Charles III, gave him an annual clothing allowance, it could only be used for ceremonial attire and was insufficient to fund the prince's more informal attire. While many observers were quick to point out contradictions in Harry's account, several have since defended him by citing the king's most recent outing, in which he committed a comparable fashion faux pas. The royally obsessed podcast hosts Rachel Bowie and Roberta Fiorito talked about King Charles and Queen Consort Camilla's visit to Brick Lane's Bangladeshi neighborhood on February 8th. The pair connected with neighborhood organizations, companies, and people actively engaged in the 1960s and 1970s anti-racism campaigns. Yet, it was discovered that King Charles had a hole in his sock when visiting a historic mosque on the iconic London street. He removed his shoes to follow tradition inside the mosque, revealing the little hole. While the monarch's relatability won over royal watchers, Miss Fiorito was quick to recall Prince Harry's assertions. She uttered, Last week he went to a mosque and as he took off his shoes, a photographer took a picture of his feet. His sock had a hole in it. This breaks my heart so much. After reading Spare, I learned how tight the budget is, especially for men's apparel, and how people actually do use items until they are worn through. This made me very angry. Harry recounted a pair of shoes his father had bought for him, which he wore until a hole appeared in the bottom and was photographed. It's like a golden prison, and it makes me incredibly sad. I wish they could just spend the money on new clothing. It's strange, she continued. They are really wealthy, so it seems weird. I'm not understanding it. But King Charles' holy socks made him so accessible to royal followers that some even took to Twitter to applaud his sustainability and wholesomeness. A tweet read, Even the British King's socks have holes in them. Another person said, He needs to be enduring. At Murphy Heather underscore added, on Twitter, although I am aware that there will be criticism, I think this is to be endearingly decent. Charles has traditionally shunned current trends in favor of wearing tried and true classics that will never go out of style. Others have contrasted his seemingly thriftiness to that of his mother, Queen Elizabeth II, when news of his sock surfaced. One Twitter user observed the parallels to the late queen and stated, I adore the king and really respect him, as well as the late queen. They were constantly seen doing good deeds and wearing the same old garments with pride. Blessed be the king. While she possessed a multi-million pound income, the late queen was renowned for her frugal ways and was not hesitant to tighten the purse strings when required. She insisted on finding ways to save costs everywhere she could, from outlawing light bulbs with more than 40 watts to shredding old newspapers to use as horse fodder. Her Majesty has been referred to as the Make Do and Mend Queen by Royal Historian Sir Roy Strong. The Queen has never been a spendthrift. She was 13 when the Second World War started, and growing up in its aftermath had a profound impact on her formative years. 
everyone in the country had to make sacrifices. And while no one is implying that the royal family had to live in poverty, food was rationed, and there was a genuine spirit of make do and mend, as Britain stood alone against Germany for a while. The Queen has carried that with her throughout her entire life, and it appears that the late monarch has inherited her frugal ways from her younger royal generations. Earlier this month, large crowds gathered in East London to welcome the king and queen as they strolled along Brick Lane. The pair followed a group of dancers who threw flower petals in their way as they passed more than a thousand well-wishers who lined the road. The king received a package of Bengali samosas and jalebi during his visit, which he promised to sample later. He also planted a tree. A cup of tea was afterward handed to him at the busy Graham Bangla restaurant. The king, however, only managed to put sugar in the cup before being advised to take it away from his police security officers out of concern that it would spill. One audience member commented, I am a few years older than King Charles, and I recall a picture in the Mirror newspaper of Charles going back to school after the holidays, and you could clearly see that his school uniform long trousers had been let down. Seems the royal family can't win. If they are frugal, they are mean, and if not well, the opposite. The Queen Mother and the Queen were both products of a period after World Wars, Chucking money about and dishing clothes that were still wearable was not what people did in those days. The throwaway society has arrived in the last 30 to 40 years. Maybe times will come again when some might have to learn the lessons of the past. Good old Charlie, those socks have another year or two's wear in them. Maybe the Duke, a naval chap, has taught him how to darn socks. That means repairing holes. It's an art form. On Harry's side, many people expressed doubts. Meghan only spent the most money on her wardrobe than any royal family member in the entirety of Europe, along with their tens of millions of dollars worth of a wedding, free houses, free security, free private jets, and pretty much everything. Such a terrible predicament for him, really, lol, and almost 40 years old without daddy as his personal piggy bank anymore. So sad. Either way, Harry's claims were hard to believe. An earlier source revealed prior to his marriage, he had approximately £2 million a year from the Duchy Fund, plus 5% of that amount from the Sovereign Grant, and a further £50,000 from the Army, free accommodations, staff, and security. When he married, he and Meghan were given £5 million to share, plus 5% of that from the Sovereign Grant, free accommodation, security, etc. Harry is estimated to have 20 plus million pounds from his mother's estate, and there's a very large inheritance from his great-grandmother coming in the near future. So no need to wear cheap knockoff clothes and shoes with holes. Just couldn't be bothered to spend his dosh. Another victim story. Just like South Park's, a branding company, you can be anything as long as it includes being a victim. What do you think of Harry's elaborate story about his budget while in the royal family? Let us know your thoughts below in the comments section. We hope you have found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next videos. Goodbye!